trees I'll lead you out and back to the sea Just follow me Welcome everybody Today we're going to talk about the uh, event And we're going to talk about the new system change So as you see right now we are Pro T9 But the points are 90 So you used to start with 1000 points But now you start with 0 and from there and from there on you go up the ranks so people who use them in the past is four or five thousand or something i mean there are still some people who have this amount because they grind a lot but if you look at the lower end and the 100 ranking actually the numbers seems to be normal as well so they'll be grinding since day one and they'll be going up at the tops but if you look in the <clears throat> Dice they'll be playing. Time dice is played a lot. Time, good evil, arrow, water dice, and holy sword. Okay. And it's continuing. People are playing the similar. Dice. So the, I'm just saying the meta has changed quite a lot. Um the Cupid dice, you can see it here, it's been played a lot. I told you in my metal the uh tealers, it's pretty high and it's pretty dangerous. Uh good evil is also very high, like in my meta less a tier list. And the water dice, like I said, is also something you shouldn't be uh you should need to take an extra look. Um so for the uh level up dies uh, there's always with the invincible and shield some played without but i think with it it's better there are different variation right now i'm playing this variation but i'll tr uh, try this i saw it's somebody playing in instead of uh a suit dragon playing with the light dice yeah so um did i miss a balance patch, maybe. Oh, tenth meme notice. Okay, let's take a look at the notice, and then we are going to do what's the title, the video title. So we're going to look at um, this is worth for you to get the battle pass. Okay, um, hello, this is Randomize Go. In order to promote and provide fair game environment. Randomize regularly investigates and regularly monitors accounts suspect of unterrored programs to be found. Okay, okay. It's just poor hackers. Okay. Market refund abuse. Any. Okay. Accounts burned 121. Length temporary. Okay. Okay. That was of the ninth. Uh, before we begin, we apologize for inquiries during gameplay. Korean server have been resolved. Okay, okay. This is when, uh, yeah, compensation for rebirth or, uh, yeah, I got the 500. Okay. So that's it. Okay. I think the next, yeah, the second. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, this was update of the second of May. That was last week. Okay. Players won't be able to collect the game. 200 diamonds but the league match star points improvement begins with zero upon reaching tier zero at uh, tier nine victory uh, defeat point change perfect victory 20 star points victory 20 uh, 10 and now you lose five yeah it used to be different depending on the players in the ranking sometimes you lose low sometimes you lose less now it is fixed to five you lose five Matching improvement. All players in Pro Team will be same matching pool. However, dice with the most similar star point status are prioritized for matching. Okay, I see here. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, <clears throat> gargle dice. Okay. At the start of the round, turns all enemies in two cell radius for a certain period. Receive less basic damage from their taunted enemies. I noticed that as well. This ability decreases by certain percentage for each enemy taunted. After the taunt is over, attack range increased by one, okay, attack value increased by certain amount. This is activated only when two or fewer gargoyles are on the board. 
Okay. I also noticed, yeah, I should have said it. The gold, it's less. Gold necessary for open classing up decreases. Common, yeah, yeah, I noticed. Oh, it used to be 400k to get dice level 15. Now it's 100k. This is more reasonable. Okay, yeah. So for rare 50k, I noticed also some are the same. Some they change a little bit, but I like the gold to decrease because I used to have like few dice you need 100k now 60k i like it and we are struggling a lot with gold okay fewer dice are needed to, okay for legendaries okay okay Ooh, that's nice what what the fuck what you needed 200 good that they really lose from 200 to 16 i like this okay 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 New event, creature rebirth begins creation of the team dice, okay? How to participate? Yeah, 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 play, play, play. Okay, now we finish with the rebirth dice. Coupon? Uh-huh. There's a coupon. It's over. Wait. Oh, nine tails. Nine tails. First, they pronounce the month and then the. Okay, we're going to make a separate video about it. Okay, let's start uh, start with the actual video. I think this time I'm going to put chapters. And now, you're going to see is it worth it to get the event premium pass? That's a better pass. I mean premium pass. So right now we have ten thousand creature points uh, <clears throat> let's note down what we have in the beginning okay i'll note down we have let me write seven thousand uh, nine thousand seven hundred thirty one gold and two thousand six hundred ninety three diamonds okay so one thing we have to say, so once there are different packs in the game, so we when we buy this premium pass, you don't get any additional gold or something. You just get all these creature points, okay? Right now we can receive another one thousand, okay? See, we can re receive another one thousand. Uh yeah, I get daily the free ones, uh, the rest I don't really get, okay. So now we're going to roll and see what we have in the end. So let me create a formula. One second. We are back now. Okay. So I decided to cut the first uh, the dialing part out because I had to dial to dice, note down, and dial, note down. It took like 30, almost 30 minutes. But if you play it yourself, it will be take like maybe 5 to 10 minutes, okay? So we're going to take a look what we got from the additional 70 euros. So we got another 100k gold, but you need to mind something. I decided for the second lap, you can see it right now as well, I didn't decide a legendary, I decided for gold. Because right now I have lots of dice to upgrade and I want to do the upgrades first before... Um, going for another legendary so all these guys I want to upgrade I want to upgrade them all and then going for more legendaries okay that's why it's the reason I decided to gold maybe you'll be like mm, yeah there will be always dice to upgrade you just go for the legendary go for the legendary because first I went for the gargle dice that I don't have the legendary I don't have and then I decided for gold because like you see multiple of higher dot dice need to upgrade multiple of them so i want to decrease the numbers i know it won't get to zero but i'm getting closer to zero okay so we got 100k golds with i finished a second lap so the laps we did we did two laps so one additional lap than normally people can do i also note i have can get additional thousand points and from the free to play side i can get additional if I don't get to collect the free stuff, additional uh, 
360 plus the ads I can watch and the things I can collect is more in addition. So, will I finish another lap? I don't think so, but with luck, with fire dot counts, we can finish additional lap. And we get additional gold and gold and diamonds if we can. We got 2,400 diamonds. It's 2,410, but we don't need to be very specific. We got 380 rare dice, 5 unique dice, 0 legendaries. I told you legendaries. I mean, I got the gargoyle from the normal, but I'm talking about a legendary tile. We landed on it 0 times. Last season also with 2 accounts 0 times. If you landed on the legendary, comment down below. I think it's 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 very rare. It's think zero point something percent to land on that spot. For the chest points, it's quite a lot, eight hundred and sixty. And yeah, that's it. So is it worth it to get the better pass? Um, it's depending on you. If you already spent in the if, uh, if you're already spending in this game, maybe yeah. But if you're free to play player, stay free to play. You can you don't have to rush to collect all the dice. There will be always new dice. There was always something to upgrade. Maybe the, some players want to get closer to the end game, so there won't be uh, dice to upgrade. Only the, they need to focus on the legendaries. But that's also where part of the game. Once people reach that spot, they get bored of the game and move to the next one. So enjoy while you can so right now i'm just going to upgrade the dice we have so we're going to this additional you can you don't have to watch this um you're going to change the diamonds into gold now we got 200k uh going to collect this it's not enough and we got to free because we got to put in line i guess no we didn't whatever we got free this thing we're going to open this and then afterwards, we're going to upgrade two, three dices. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> huh. We have two more. Okay. Last one, I guess. Yep. And also here, no legendary. I open more than 860. <clears throat> now let's take a look which does. So how much? 60k. Okay. Actually, this is a use, so we have to use them. Okay. Uh, this I used to use. Okay. But look at this. I haven't been using it lately. I don't know why. Does someone cost less than 60k? All of them cost 60k. We can upgrade two more dice. Uh, let's do them because they are closer to the end. Even though I don't play them. So how many dice left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. On all of them are at least 60k gold. Boy, boy, boy. This is going to take a long time. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.